All right, this is fourth grade module three, lesson 29. And in this lesson, students are just going to be uh, continuing to practice that standard algorithm for division. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to be dividing by two, three, four, and five. Uh, what's different this time is now we're going to be dividing into a four digit number. So our dividend inside the house is going to be a four digit number. Uh, so we're increasing the complexity a little bit. Uh, we're also uh, really just moving into that standard algorithm. I'm going to continue using the Common Core, that Eureka Math vocabulary for describing what's going on. But ultimately, what's being written down is that standard algorithm, which is going to make teachers and parents super comfortable with these lessons. So we're going to divide using that standard algorithm, and then we're going to check using multiplication. So the idea is, first thing I, I do, teachers, uh, I'm going to belabor this point constantly, is to have students write this problem down. So of course they're going to write it using that standard algorithm and divided by 4. And I, I want them to say this problem. I want students to remind themselves that the way we read this problem is 2,464 divided by 4. They say the problem correctly here. Oftentimes they say it backwards here. So let's just continually uh, practice how to say that question correctly. And now we're going to divide. I'm going to do my best to use the Eureka Math kind of way of describing the using the, the words to describe what's going on. So we have two thousands and we're supposed to divide those two thousands amongst four groups. Well we don't have enough thousands to divide it into four groups so we're going to take those two thousands and cash them in and now we have twenty four hundreds. Well if we have twenty four hundreds divided amongst four groups that means each group gets six hundreds and that means we've used all twenty four hundreds. So now we have six tens. Now if we have six tens and we're going to divide that amongst five, uh, four groups. That means each group is going to get one ten, which means we've used up four tens, and we have two tens left over, and we can cash those in for ones, and now we have twenty-four ones. So we had two tens cashed in for twenty ones plus the four, so we now have twenty-four ones. Uh, divided amongst four groups means each group is going to get six ones. And we've used up 24 ones and we have no remainder. So our answer is 616. So to check, we're going to do four times 616. Now in this case, we have no remainder, so we could add a plus zero. That's not really necessary but we know we're right if we get 2,464. So let's quickly multiply uh, 616 times 4. I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Typically I've been putting our carrying number along this line. I'm going to do little the old school United States method of putting our carrying up here just to, I don't know, just to be a rebel, I guess. So 4 times 6 is 24, so we're going to put the 4, carry the 2. So we have 4 times 1, which is 110. So 4 times 110 is 4 tens, plus 2 more tens is 6 tens. And then 4 times 6 hundreds is 24 hundreds. And since we get exactly what we were aiming for, that tells us our answer of 616 is probably correct. So here, we're going to, again, just write it down using that standard way of recording it. And now we're going to divide. So 8,000s divided into three groups means each group is going to get 2,000s. So we've used up six and we have two left over. We bring down this four and we now have 24 hundreds. And 24 hundreds divided amongst three groups means each group gets eight. So we've used up all 24 hundreds. We have nothing left over. And we now have, we can look at the five tens. 
So five tens divided amongst three groups means each group is going to get one dot, or one ten. We've used up three tens. We have two tens left over. Combining with these six ones means we now have 26 ones. And those 26 ones divided amongst three groups means each group is going to get eight ones. So we've used up 24 ones and we have a remainder of two. So how are we going to check? Well, we're going to check by doing three times 2,818, and then we're going to add in our little remainder, and we want the answer to be 8,456. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to do 2,818 multiplied by 3, and I'm going to do the old rebel, and I'm going to put my carrying up at the top this time. All right, so 3 times 8 is 24, carry the 2, 24, and then we have 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 gives us 5, and then we have 3 times 8 is 24, so that's going to be a 4, carry the 2, and then we have 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, so now we have 8,454, so that's this multiplication part, now we have to add in the 2, and when we add in the 2, we get 8,456, which is exactly what we wanted. And so that tells us our answer of 2,818 with a remainder of 2 is, I should extend it there, okay, is correct. And a simple word problem just to continue practicing. It says a truck has four crates of apples. Each crate has an equal number of apples. That's the important thing that's going to suggest division in this case. Altogether, the truck is carrying 1,728 apples. How many apples are in three crates? Now, this is really important. How many apples are in three crates? So first, let's use um, a tape diagram to represent the four crates and that the four crates has 1,728 apples. And the first thing we're going to do is figure out, well, how many apples are in one crate? And so that means we are going to use division 1,728 divided by 4, and that's going to tell us how many apples are in one crate. So let's see. Uh, 1,000 cannot be divided amongst five, four groups, so we're going to move to 1,700. And 1,700 divided amongst four groups means each group is going to get four hundreds. We've used up 16, and we have 100 left over. Bringing down the 2 means we now have 12 tens. And 12 tens sorted amongst the four groups means each group is going to get three tens. We've used up 12 tens, so we now have uh, no tens left over. Bringing down the 8, we now have 8 ones. So 8 ones divided amongst the four groups means each group is going to get two, whoa, uh, two ones, which means we've used up 8 and we have nothing left over. So we know that this box right here is 432, this box is 432, this box is 432, and this box is 432. Now we want to know how many apples are in three crates. A couple of ways to do that. Well, one way to do it is to say, well, we could just take the total, 1,728, and subtract 432. And the answer is 1,296, because what we did was we took the whole, which is 1,728, and subtracted one box, one, uh, what is it, crate, one crate, and you're going to get 1,296. Of course, another way you could have done it, we could have done 432 times 3, 
and gotten the exact same answer. In that case, we're taking 432 and multiplying by 3 because we, have, we want 3 of them. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 29, continuing to practice that standard algorithm, only this time we're dividing 4-digit four di division uh, dividends by uh, a simple divisor, like 2, 3, 4, or 5.